One year after one of the deadliest school shootings in American history, Newtown is healing. Never could imagine it happening here. This picturesque, sleepy town was forever changed on December 14th, 2012, when the accused gunman, Adam Lanza, opened fire inside Sandy Hook Elementary School. Oh, well, one year later, people here in Newtown are struggling to cope with the tragedy that took 20 of their children and six of their educators. To this day, many questions remain unanswered, like the question of why and why it happened here in this typically quiet, sleepy town. Residents say that question will never be answered. Why take the life of little, innocent little babies? George Linebacker drives children to school in Newtown. Seven of the children that died were once passengers on his bus. Sweet, innocent, wonderful kids, you know. I mean, typical five, six-year-olds, a little mischievous. I had Catherine and Charlotte who liked to climb under my seats. Allie, biggest smile in the world, always happy-go-lucky. Javier, Olivia, Jesse, James. It's been tough. The tragedy sent shockwaves to surrounding towns and across the country. When I heard that these kids were first graders, it hit really close to home. Kara Nelson Bakey is a mother of two in Norwalk, Connecticut, about a half hour away from Newtown. She says the tragedy was a turning point. We can't just sit here and not do something because it's going to happen again. She's now leader of the Connecticut chapter of Moms Demand Action, a grassroots group formed days after the Newtown shooting. We got some very, very strong legislation passed here in Connecticut in the end of March. Um, Right now, it's being challenged. In addition to gun violence, Sandy Hook has raised awareness about the nation's mental health care system because of Lanza's history with mental illness. I think so much money has been taken away from that. I mean, Southbury Training School closed, Fairfield Hills closed. The mental health industry is just, you know, they don't seem to give people the help they need. As the town struggles to move on, there's few signs the shooting happened. The school has been demolished, the scene fenced off and guarded. Behind a church, 20 angels and the names of the victims are etched in stone. Near the scene, this giant teddy bear stands. The ribbon it wears reads, Newtown's Angels. One year later, the town remembers the victims as it struggles to forget the pain and horror that came to town that fateful day. In Newtown, Connecticut, Liz Wall, RT.